Today I think I want to... Hmm. Take two. Welcome. Today I want to kind of start a new series where I um, do basically some quick rapid fire reviews of some of the lenses I own for the Fujifilm system. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go in order from the widest focal length I own down to the most telephoto focal length I own. And so what that means is today I'm starting with the 18 millimeter lens, which is right in front of me here. So uh, what is there to say about this lens? For those who don't know, this was one of the uh, first original three lenses that Fujifilm released um, for the X system cameras back in 2012, um, which is when I first got into the Fuji system with the X-Pro1. Although I did not own this lens, um, mainly because it got such a bad rap back then. Um, and for whatever it's worth, um, I think that this lens is, is, you know, crazy underrated and all the bad things people say about this lens are, um, you know, wildly overblown in my opinion. And I'll get into that right now uh, over the next few minutes. So, uh, where do we start? So the build, so this is a, this has a, you know, like most Fuji lenses these days, it has a metal construction. Um, so the, the entire lens is metal. Um, however, it's very lightweight. Um, and some people might take that as you know feeling cheap because even though it's, it's metal um it, it just doesn't feel like it weighs much it feels very uh hollow in the hand um it does come with this this uh you know this kind of square round but square smashed um lens hood here and uh i think these lens hoods have um i always loved them initially and then over time as i start to see other uh, styles of square lens hoods these start to look a little weird to me so uh, you can kind of take that for what it is uh, this really personal preference it doesn't matter what i do love about these lens hoods um, for this one and the 35 in particular uh, 35 1.4 is that i think they do a great job of actually protecting the lens element without being too big without being one of those like flower petal or you know round plastic ones that fuji will ship with most of the lenses that um, they release today so i really like the fact that this keeps the metal construction and it just gives it kind of a um you know more classic vibe i think that i i think you know looks much better and you know back when they first released these three lenses they were doing things differently i mean even the box and the packaging for this uh is you know, levels above what they ship now staying with the build um you know it's metal construction um it's lightweight it's it's not bad uh, it's pretty good. The aperture ring, I think for some people complain about the aperture ring being loose. On my copy, it's not loose at all. It's pretty tight, but I have owned this lens, a different copy of this lens in the past, where the aperture ring was pretty loose and could be knocked pretty easily when pulling out of a camera bag, for instance. Um, so yeah, the, but the main draw of this lens obviously is the size. It's tiny, it's very easy to carry, um, you know, and because of that, it makes it very, very, very fun to use. Uh, from a performance standpoint, I personally love this lens. Um, I know this lens gets a lot of hate, like I said, uh, mainly because people say it's not sharp. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I think that it's plenty sharp for what I do with this lens. Um, I'm not a landscape shooter or anything like that, so I don't need crazy corner to corner sharpness at um, low apertures uh, or do I don't do astrophotography or anything like that. So, you know, your mileage may vary, and if those things matter to you, then you know maybe you should you know look at some of the I guess the, the the test charts for this lens versus particularly the new 18 millimeter uh, f 1.4 which I hear is great um, not for me it's too big but you know if that's your thing you can get into that I'm not um, you know the type of person who obsesses over the sharpness of a lens from corner to corner um, I care more about the actual final product I can get with the with the lens and this one for me delivers for what I use it for. Um, also, the autofocus of this lens is, is very fast. Um, it was the fastest one at release for Fuji and it's just gotten better uh, over the years with the new bodies. Um, I don't think you'll have a problem with the autofocus of this lens outside of one caveat, which would be the noise. Uh, it does kind of have that lens chatter as it's focusing like a lot of the older um, you know more simple driven uh, Fuji lenses do and that is one drawback that if you're in situations where you actually do need to be quiet that is something to consider um, for me it's not a deal breaker but it is something that I would keep in mind if you're shooting in a quiet church or 
you know, certain events that, you know, the noise would be an issue, you're probably going to want to keep that in mind. It kind of will sound like you're, like you're changing the aperture ring the whole time as you focus, you know, as it acquires and hunts back and forth. But it is very quick. It's just loud. Uh, it can be pretty noisy. Um, and uh, I think the F2 aperture at this size, right, this kind of pancake-like size um, is what makes this lens special. At a certain distance, that F2 aperture gets you a nice amount of um, subject separation uh, depending on, on what you're shooting. And it can be really, um, you know, it, it, it gives the images a certain feel that I don't particularly get with a lot of other, um, you know, I guess 28 millimeter lenses, particularly, or field of view lenses, particularly on APS-C. Um, so the fact that it has an F2 aperture, you know, equivalent depth of field of a 2.8 on a full frame camera, but it's this small, it's just amazing to me. And I think that's what makes this lens special. Uh, so getting to the cons uh, quickly before we wrap up, um, I kind of touched them already. It can feel cheap because of the weight. If, if that matters to you, keep that in mind. Uh, the aperture ring, uh, depending if you got, you know, on your used copy could be loose, not, a, not an issue for me. Um, and the autofocus can be loud. So if you're in situations where, you know, you know, the sound has to be, you know, everything has to be silent, then this might not be the lens you want to take for that. Um, but who's it for? So if you love the 28 millimeter field of view and you want something that's light, portable and affordable, um, you know, in the used market, these run for about 200 to 250, 275, um, depending on the condition and where you buy it from. So that's pretty affordable for what you get here in this light, small, compact package, good image quality, fast autofocus, very fun to use. And overall, I think it might be my favorite Fuji lens. Um, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for the other ones. Um, the other reviews like this, I'll do some other quick reviews on all the lenses I own. Um, and that's it.